What's up, beautiful people? Today, we're going to be checking out Modern Women Can't Accept Men Don't Like Pass Around Women. So this is going to be good. <laughs> I can't really tell. This is going to be good. And this is from a channel called Just Pearl. Um, really just discovered her not too long ago and really been enjoying her content. All right. So I really wanted to check it out and react to it and see what she has to say. So with further ado, check this out. Mm -mm, I somewhat agree. I personally, it's very debatable because mm. sometimes, sometimes women don't know what they want. And like you said, like we think, sometimes we think we know what they want by mm. like doing stuff like cooking and cleaning and like spending more time with them. But like, it's like when the guy approaches them first, obviously they think that they're good looking and, and like, oh, let me try to be fair. Like, oh, let me try this. Let me try that. And it's like, mm. at the end, we might not get what they want and then we'll obviously get angry because they are they approached us first and it's just like what did you well what did you want in the beginning sex you, anyway? sex yeah of course <laughs> yes so it's just but like in this like especially like I'm 24 as well like I'm like if you like if you approach me and like you really want no, like you should know what you like guys you should know what you want as well like even sex yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo guys know what like, they want what are you talking when, about when when we don't want that you not get mad. So do they get mad or do they move on? No, some move of them on. Are mad. Uh, both, fair enough. Both. All right. So what? Yeah, both. Yeah, both. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. Uh, so what I'd find, what I'd say is, male and female relationships are transactional. Men want sex. Women want relationships. Women control access to sex. Mm. Men control access to relationships. Yes. It's a game that you're playing with a guy. If you can withhold sex long enough for him to kind of get to the point where he feels like he needs to wife you, then you, you, you're playing the game well, right. And But and also a lot of guys, if they know you've slept with guys before, like very quickly, they're, 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 and they want to date you, but you're making them wait, they're just thinking like, what, what, what am I doing here? You didn't make him wait. That is true though. That is true. And so a that lot is of guys true. get frustrated and just leave because, yep. you know, it's like you slept with three guys on the football team, so what, why on earth am I waiting for this? Mm -hmm. But then guys will do the same but thing. But then that just shows you wasn't serious in the first place then. That no, 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 no. Actually, <laughs> death has sex because... Uh, no, no. Tom got it quicker than I Harry. No, it shows one men value purity, so they don't want a girl that slept with a lot of guys. But it's fine for them. But it's fine for them to do. Many? Yeah. yeah, because men and women are different. Mm -hmm. Yes, like it's easy for us. You can walk outside. I could walk outside. Oh, human. Okay. What? I mean, no, I, mean, no I, mean. I, I agree. We're all human. Like, it's yes. not like girls don't want to have sex, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it, it's valuable to a guy to have a girl that hasn't had as many experiences because it lowers your value the more people you slept with i find that ridiculous sadly, oh, but sadly. Oh, it's, it's so true but, but why whoa. yeah why is that so society why just made it like that. it's a biological thing yeah a girl yeah, sleeping yeah. Because, one at a time guys one bi at a time. biologically men and women are different so historically men had to ensure paternity so they had to make sure that the woman that they were sleeping with, like that she was passing on his genes. Yeah. And so we can't make our biological like need go away the same way. We can't help that we like men taller than us because historically we had to find a guy to protect us. Mm. It's just yes. innate in them. They can't help it. So it, it like <laughs> how ish ish. How would you feel if you were dating a girl and you found out later, like after you were together, that she slept with three of your boys? Oh my! But that's his, that's his boys, like. Okay, boys. no. Let's say let's mm. say three acquaintances. You don't know them well. Oh, that's still. I found out later. Yeah, later. Yeah, now I'd be fuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If You'd I be if upset. I knew before, then I would have I, I would have made a choice. Obviously, I wouldn't oh, do it, yeah, but okay, I would have okay. made a choice to be there. But. Yeah. If, if I know later and now I'm in deep, then mm. I would be fuming because I invested go. all this time, effort, yes. money to know that there's mm. brothers in and around me looking at me going, like, yeah, uh, I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've <laughs> yes. Uh, what, if, what if you waited yes. a month to bang her and you found out that all of them <laughs> slept with her after, on the first date? Oh yeah, I'm fighting everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're not doing that. Because we're not doing a guy that. Wants you to like view him as the best that like you can do. So if if we're going around making one guy wait and make, giving it to another guy immediately, like yeah. to the guy, it's like you don't like him. You liked the other guys more, mm -hmm. and you, you're just settling for the other guy, right? Mm -hmm. Would you, man? Is that yeah? Yeah, fair. Oh, yeah. Fair. That's a good point. 
Because um, men don't like to feel like they're being settled for at all, I don't think. Yeah. I think not men like um, feeling like a woman is there to settle for him. Uh, men, like you said, does like to feel like um, he is the best that, that woman wants kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so The thing is, I think, uh, you know, whoever you're, you get as a partner they want to be treated like a 10 and you want to be treated mm-hmm. like a 10. Mm-hmm. Whether yes. you are objectively in terms of beauty standards or not isn't the point. Mm. The kind of relationship you have with your partner, you should be each other's 10. Yes. yes. You get what I'm saying? But is that is that possible if a, like a 5 is going for a 10? I don't think so. I don't well, think that's, that. uh, yeah. that's the, the problem is I don't think that can happen where everyone gets their first choice because yes. especially nowadays you have 80% of women sleeping with 20% of guys. So the five thinks she's an eight because she's sleeping with the eight, nine or 10. And so when she gets married, she's going to view her husband as less. That's another issue with um, sleeping with a lot of guys. Did you know you if go. you sleep with more than five guys, your chance of a happy marriage after 10 years, it goes from 80 percent to 25 percent why why Why? Why? because because the more men you sleep with it it, you lose your ability to bond with each one pair bonding yeah it's pair bonding so so if you sleep with one guy you're going to compare the next guy to him if you sleep with 10 guys you compare all 10 if you sleep with 20 you compare all 20 and guys hate being compared to other guys yeah oh yeah by far it makes you more divorced like yeah yes you're not likely to be divorced but you're more likely to leave if you did that because Mm -hmm. You're with your husband thinking about the last like ten guys that maybe weren't as good. Yeah. As the one you married. Yeah, mad, mad. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that hit hard. That hit hard. Yeah, go and say so. Yeah, that's just mad. I think that's mad because like, like. Thank makes you. Me think, it? Yeah, because yes. wait, but mostly girls. Okay. Hmm. Let's hear this. Let's hear this. Go for like a relationship. So cool. If they sleep with no. more than 10 people more and then they five. find, oh, okay, more than five people mm-hmm. and they find someone, are they still going to be, okay, cool, like, he's not as best as Jake. Like, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I think that's, so, I sometimes. It depends on the girl. <laughs> it yeah. Sometimes. On the girl. But and it depends who she marries. Does she yeah. marry a guy that's better than all the guys she slept with, or does she feel like she's settled? Yes, mm-hmm. there you go. Like I'll give you an example. If there's a guy like for me, and I didn't realize what I was doing, right? But if there's a guy that to me is like an, like a nine, right, and he's talking to me, I'm like, why are you talking to me? Because I, yeah. I just immediately think that he wants like yeah. Yeah. something. I'm yeah, a little out of my life. Like you there you go. Like there you go. And there's a lot of them I like didn't that. Realize that's an innate like response to not wanting to be alpha widowed and an alpha widow is basically when you sleep with a guy that's so high value no one else can compare mm. Mm. And, and so every guy so your husband might pay for it yeah you're sleeping with your husband wishing it was the other guy oh that's disgusting god damn and i don't god know damn. About you, but i've I found the realization. That always, girls always have one ex that they like can't get over. Can't get over. That, that they can't. That there you go. Who they date after? They're always thinking about that last ex. And when I was in college, that is true. I remember just thinking, "Wow, this is so weird." Like everyone's got that one, <laughs> and that's everyone's Sorry. alpha widow. <laughs> like I'll, I'll give you a story. I tell this story all Ooh. the time on my show. So there was a girl I went to school with. She was like the girl next door you never would have known. Mm. She, um, she slept with a guy or she was dating a guy for like a month freshman year okay Ugh. and they broke up because he was kind of a player like he cheated on her like i'm like a month like that's so soon yeah i know Dude, I wow know. I'm mad i'm make it a month anyways <laughs> have you break anyway yeah yeah uh. <laughs> so like fast forward four years later she's dating a new guy this man treats her like a queen okay he bought her a house he bought her yeah she bought her a house moves her into the house I don't, I don't, I don't, I, they're still together <laughs> right I'm on Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> no they're still together the two this day i would say he probably wasn't as like good looking as the guy from freshman year had like as, as much of a smooth talker yeah. but like like good reliable responsible guy bought yes. her house moved her in all the oh time. yeah we're at a party okay mm-hmm. and um, oh God. Yeah, I'm at a party and she's there and her the guy that bought her the house isn't coming, but he's going to get there in like an hour. OK, oh. and I see her. She goes into the bathroom and I'm like, why, why is that like where that? 
where'd um where'd she go and <laughs> and um she just and slipped and, and um, she just slipped she, it she comes the in, man come out of the she, bathroom oh. and, um the guy from freshman oh, year oh, fuck like, oh. She was sleeping oh, with him. Pearl. i don't know how long or what happened she i just was, i just was like and you never would have known because she was like the girl next door and um yeah and she's like still with that the other guy today what is and that so when i think of no. alpha widow that's what i think of was she drunk yeah. I don't know. Probably. That's not yeah. That's not an excuse, though. No. That's not an excuse. No. I don't like. I wasn't super close with her like that. We were just on the same. Like we just yeah. like we're the same friends, right? But I I was. That's like, mad. That happened so long. This is for like. Yeah. That that, that is before. mad. That is and mad. I think of an alpha. Like that's that's the problem when you get a bigger and bigger body count is like you're more likely to find the guy that the next guy can't compete with, especially oh. if you're batting out of your league. That is mad. Yes. The house. Are you still high? Slept with the other guy. That's tough. That's tough. Yes. He must, did he find Somebody out? Somebody else started thinking. I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't look it. It wasn't. Yo. <laughs> this was. I was a senior, so I was just about to like leave the school. So there I, you go. That, there I'm you go. There are things I saw like, as a senior so too. Men really shouldn't lead with their wallets when it comes to. You know, in, in engaging with females, they should not. They really they should not. No, nope. no. money is <laughs> sometimes. Uh, it's yeah. a nice thing to have. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice thing to flaunt, and it's a nice thing to spend on your on your your partner. Yeah, but if you're gonna buy a house. And then just well, that's, he didn't, he that's didn't, a lot. The guy didn't lead with his wallet. It, okay. was, it was after a couple of years. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. There we go. Everybody's uh there we go. Like, okay, okay. That makes sense. But he didn't know. I'm telling you, like some guys, and I, I I maybe you guys would disagree, but I don't think the boyfriends, I think it's very hard for men to tell if you're the girl's second choice mm, because yeah. you, might, you might not be fighting all the time. You might, like, you, you really probably won't ever know. The friends know. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Girlfriends. Yeah. yeah. Girlfriends. Yeah. yeah. That is true. Not, I mean, are, you, are you going to tell the girlfriend if your friend's cheating? Exactly. Yes. I, will, I personally, I, I will. I, will. I, I don't care. There you go. There you go. Good you conscience. Will. You got to have good conscience. Okay, okay, okay. You got to have good conscience. Let's say your friend. She, yes. she's, let's say she has a boyfriend. Yeah. Right? yeah. She's cheating. Oh, yeah. she's cheating. Yeah, you she know. Is. And I know. Do you tell her boyfriend? Oh, hell no. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right. No, if wow. the guy is cheating on her. No, no, I'm talking no, about your friend. The bomb scene, if the guy cheated on her, I'll tell you. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think both genders are loyal talking. to each other in that way. Exactly. But we're not going to, we're not going to snitch if our girl's cheating or if the guy's cheating. Ah, man, no, bro. No. Since we were like 14 years old, I was 14 years old, he's 16. Right. Yeah? Like, we've been friends for over 10 years. Right. If I, if I knew that he had a wife and he was cheating on her, he, I think I can look him in the eye and say we would probably fight. <laughs> I think I can look him in the eye and just genuinely Do just you, say, There you go. Question. Would you? I mean, you like. <laughs> no, I would, as, in, as in, I would, I would have a, something to say. Well, yeah, you might say it to him, but you're not going to go to his wife. Well, I would probably give him an ultimatum and say, if you aren't going to tell your wife. Right, but you're an exception. Something's going to happen. You're an exception. You're not the rule. I'm sure. You're not. Perhaps, no, yeah, but uh, like. Capping. No. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. I okay. think it's on the sense that. If you were in the situation, yes, I believe you'd get angry with him. I am more Wait, loyal to my finish. principles me, than I am my let, friends. Let me finish. Go on. Mm. I think you'd get at him. Mm. I think as a man of principle, you would speak to him, you'd fight him, you'd have that discussion with him. Yeah. I okay. I think you would go, go to the wife. To the wife. Personally. I, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's right. Fair, okay, I, 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 I agree. It's, it's, it's not right for me to directly speak to her. Hear me out, hear me Sorry, out. Sorry, go, go, go. A bond is between two people. Mm. They're in a relationship together. There is no third person. Yeah. Right. The moment yes. you're interfering that, right? Mm, 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 yep. You're playing a dangerous game. I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's a dangerous game. You don't know that she she may already know that he's cheating, yeah. but she's mm. benefits. The moment Ooh. you kind of, no, hear me out. The moment what you benefits kind of, to cheat him. There's, there's, so women marry or are in relationships mainly for status. Yeah, they yeah. Understand. I, I get that. I get that. Let me finish. Go on. They understand <laughs> Let that me if they're with a man of high value, mm. they okay. are willing to compromise the idea of cheating because they understand that they may not be able to get another man of that kind of value or status. So they mm. are willing to go through the bullshit mm -hmm. as long as it's not out in the open mm -hmm. and people don't know. And yeah, he's right. And, and um, girls are more attracted to guys that cheat. 
I mean, why do you think they say men are trash? <laughs> why do you think they're always complaining about getting... <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that. I've noticed because that. historically, there's biological roots to everything. So historically, mm. if a man could take care of other women, that that meant that... Um, like that meant that he could take care of us. So if we see that he's taking care of another woman, like then we're attracted to that. It's yeah. kind of, it's kind of messed up, but how many yeah. people do you know that get cheated on and go back? Yeah, that's wild, man. That's crazy. Holy snap. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's some madness, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, dude. I just, I just thought this is, this is crazy. This is crazy in this world that we live in, this society. But I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.